You remember Scott Desjardins? He's the representative from Tennessee. Uh, he got in a little bit of trouble before his election because uh, there was tapes of him asking his mistress to get an abortion. Now, of course, he's pro-life. He's also family values. Now, it turns out that was one of his four different mistresses. The number seems to be increasing. We'll get to that in a second. After the election, we found out that he actually pressured his wife to get two abortions earlier. That was his first wife. Now, we have a little bit more explanation. Desjarlais clarifies. He talked to the Knoxville News Sentinel about it. There's some terrific quotes. First, let me give you a description of the story the Talking Points memo lays out. They say, quote, Representative Scott Desjarlais, the former physician turned anti-abortion Tennessee Republican congressman, says he hadn't given abortion as much thought as he should have when he supported his first wife's decisions to have two abortions. I love that, you know, because this is what Republicans always do, right? So they come out and they're like, man, when I was younger, oof, all that sex I was having, premarital sex I was having, postmarital sex I was having, oh, that was so wrong, man. Thank God, saved by the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Okay, so now they're even doing it about abortions. Oh, like the 18 abortions my wife had and my mistress had and stuff. I, I should have thought that through more. But now that I have and I decided that it's easier to get your votes by pretending I'm pro-life after all these abortions, I, I realized, yeah, of, of, yeah, of course, I, yeah, no, abortions are bad for you. They're great for me when I need it, but t terrible for you, okay. Now, we turn to the family values side. Uh, Talking Points memo explains further. He now looks back with regret. He says, on the sexual relationships he had with two patients, three co-workers, and a drug company representative. <laughs> Perhaps it's Representative Dijar Laid. <laughs> By the way, these are only the mistresses that we know about and that he has admitted. Imagine how many he hasn't admitted to. And I'm sure if you caught him on all that stuff, he said, well, well, I mean, I should have thought through all those mistresses better earlier, but you know, it's, you know, what can you do? Um, when I was having sex with three co-workers, a drug company representative, and two patients, I didn't think it through too much. <laughs> In my sense is you were thinking with a different part of your party, uh, body, Scott. So he, he now, he, these are quotes from him, he explains. He says, quote, I am human. I don't think I ever put myself out there to be somebody that was perfect. I put myself out there as somebody who wanted to serve the public. <laughs> this is what they always do. Like, they say, I want to judge your life. Don't do this and don't do that. Now you're not allowed to do that with your body. And don't you dare do that with, in a bedroom, okay? And then when they get caught, oh, what are you judging for, man? I'll tell you what, I, I'm a human. I'm not a lizard. I'm a human, man. If you got me, don't I bleed? I made some mistakes, but yeah, I'm pro-life family values re-elect me. These hypocrites are unbearable. One more for you. He says, I love this one. Quote from Desjardins. I guess as a physician, I was a fairly objective person. I try not to be a judgmental person. Abortion was just not something that I put as much thought into as I should have in retrospect. Going back, if I could change and do things differently, certainly I would. Two things I love in that. Number one, no you wouldn't. You'd do the same exact thing, and then you'd go, ah, but I was in a tight spot, dude. Imagine my mistress gets pregnant, what am I going to tell the wife? You see what I'm saying. <laughs> now the two abortions that his wife had, one was a, partly related to a medical condition. But you see, that's my point. You don't get into our lives, don't get between us and our doctors, because you don't know what our medical conditions are. It turns out, sometimes you need an abortion because you've got a medical problem. But he wants to take away that choice that his wife had, that he had, he wants to take it away from you. That's part of his hypocrisy. By the way, the second abortion he had with his wife, they said, well, it, we were fighting at the time, so it was an inconvenient time in our marriage. This is Mr. Pro-Life. But one last thing. Did you notice the beginning of that quote? Where he said, as a physician, I was a fairly objective person. So thereby admitting that if you're pro-life, anti-abortion, you're not really an objective person. Ah, reason, logic, being objective. No, that's for re reasonable people. No, no, no. <laughs> when I grew up, I put those childish things aside and realized that zealous tree and fundamentalism uh, is the way to go. And hypocrisy and lies is apparently the grown up thing to do. So I love how he says, back then I was reasonable. Now I'm reformed and totally unreasonable. Okay, well, at least we know.